my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys my favorite workout, my, it's my kind of my go-to. I love to start every workout with 20 minutes of cardio. My preferred cardio is the stair stepper. I think it's so challenging, and I also feel like it's training my legs as I'm doing it, and I'll also do a couple like kickbacks to get like, you know, some glute action going on. But we don't have a stair stepper in the gym we're at today, so I'm gonna start off with some bike. And I like starting my workouts with the cardio because it really gets me sweating and it gets me motivated in, in the zone to actually like get it. So I totally recommend trying that and see if it helps you feel inspired to start your workout. Yes, I am a little bit more tired when I'm lifting, but I feel like I probably burn more calories and I like the challenge. So, and then after that, we'll go into, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite upper body circuit. Um, I like to, in between each workout, add in some plyometric stuff, like jump lunges, jump squats, high knees, things like that. I'll show you what I love. It will really get your heart rate up and be a HIIT workout. A HIIT workout is high intensity interval training. So after we'll be doing each set, we we'll do something really intense to get our heart rate up and then taking a short break. So let's get into it. cardio tips too that have really helped me um, having music like you need your headphones get your jams going and turn it up caffeine I like coffee I don't really promote like pre-workouts or things like that they're usually like packed full with unhealthy ingredients and chemicals I would just stick to like black coffee you could put like some sort of plant-based creamer in there instead of me if you prefer but that helps keep me going and I like to have waters too one more tip this is how I lost the baby weight. When I was like, okay, I gotta lose these last 10 pounds, I'm, I gotta do it. I would do fasted cardio every morning. And so that just means no eating before your workout. I just did coffee and water. And it's so challenging, but it really forces your body to start feeding into those fat storages. So there's a tip for losing the baby weight. I like to also incorporate like that HIIT style into my cardio workout. So. For right now, let's say I will I'll usually warm up for about three minutes on like a medium intensity and just to kind of get my heart rate up and going but not more enough that I'm like tired yet. And then I like to bump up the pace, like if I'm on the stair stepper, I'll go up to a level 15 and I'll do that for three minutes straight. And then I'll go down back to like level five and just like rest up for about maybe one minute, maybe one and a half, two depending on how tired I am and just kind of switch off doing that back and forth, getting my heart rate up really, really high and pushing it, giving it all my all, and then taking a rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up, we have bicep curls. I love training biceps. Like, I end up training them every day because I'm like obsessed with having toned arms. So I always like to start this circuit with, I do tens, do what feels comfortable for you. Put your arms out. And you don't want to swing. You want to flex at the top and flex triceps at the bottom. And I'll do 20 of these. So then right after the curls, go straight into jump lunges. And I like to do 30. Okay, take a breather, maybe grab a drink, but you don't want your break to be longer than probably a minute. I go into 20 of these. I'm not sure what they're called. We're gonna call them shoulder lateral braces. And then I go into a round of high knees, and I like to do 60, so I count 60. Next step, um, I like to go into these bending shoulder press. So grab a mat so you're supporting your knee. Opposite leg, opposite arm. You want your toe right underneath your knee. I like to have my hand on my waist support. And I like to do 
like a, a twisting motion with these. Push it up and come back down. Up, come back down. Do 20 of these. We'll be doing 20 of each exercise. Three rounds of the, of the whole circuit. But honestly, if you get tired, just do two. Listen to your body. And I like just to do back to back with each shoulder. So then after you've done 20 on this side, just switch right over. I'm told by my husband, these are called <laughs> Arnold presses. I'm not hip on the lingo. And then I go into jump squats. I try and do 30. Sometimes these are like so challenging for me. I only end up doing 20, but I try and go for 30. And then up next, for the last workout of the circuit, go over to the cable machine and raise the arm to like the highest it goes. And I'm doing about 23 pounds. And go ahead and pull back, a little pull back, and um, feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. And do a slight like bend and squat. So you want your back and your shoulders to be straight. And I prefer to do the rope on here. We don't have that today, so these will do. And you're gonna keep your elbows up and pull back. Elbows up and pull back. You wanna make sure you're keeping your core engaged and flat back. Pull back. I like to look at myself in the mirror to make sure, because like form is really important on this one, to make sure you're feel, feeling it in the right areas. And pull back as far as you can onto your chest. We're doing 20 of these. Right after that, immediately go into the next heart rate riser. Jump down, we're gonna do 10 mountain climbers, five push-ups, 10 mountain climbers, five push-ups until you've done 20 push-ups. If you have Diastasis recti, um, maybe wait on doing the mountain climbers. If you wanna wait until you're far enough advanced that you can really hold your core and your belly in when you do those. An alternative to that, you could just do, if you feel like you're strong enough to just do the push-ups, you could just do that. Or you could just do um, another round of high knees, which is really good at holding in your core as well. Um, and also when you're doing the jump squats and um, the jump lunges, really make sure you're holding your core in tight. Um, so we're gonna do three rounds of everything we just did. Two, if that feels right for you, and one, if you're exhausted after one, just do one. Just listen to your body, because I know it's tiring after, if you've done the 20 minutes of cardio. And to finish off, I like to finish mine off with some oblique work and um, another ab little thing. So I'll show you guys what I do next. And to finish it off, we'll grab, I like to do 15s for these. And I like to have my um, opposite hand on my waist and also kind of feeling my obliques to kind of remind myself where I'm working. So I'll do 30 of these on each side. You wanna really squeeze on this side. Keeping your core engaged. Straight into the Russian twists, and I will do 60 of these. Only do these if your abs have healed enough to the point where you can really hold them in. And I'm just now starting these after about seven months of doing only those diastasis rectal workouts. So very subtle. 
keeping your core engaged. If your abs start sticking out, stop doing it. And then, if you keep going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Comment below, let me know if you want me to do more workout videos like these, if you wanna see some other circuits that I like to do. Also, my ab diastasis recti video will be linked below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and sending love to all of you guys.